all right welcome back home design studio here our series in autocad in the previous videos we saw how to create this particular elevation and using one technique and today i'm going to show you another technique that is much more quick to create another uh, front elevation what i did in the previous what i did before i started this tutorial was to set up uh, all the necessary uh, tools that i'm going to use to have uh, it set up what i did was to copy this uh, this floor plan and then manipulate it such as making a little bit of rotation and mirror so that they can align with these grids and then uh, I created the levels here. The, for instance, this is the level of some roofs, the other level of roofs or, uh, of the walls, then the level of the roofs, and then the level of the upper kitchen roof because the roof is, uh, is double height here. Now this is the, the baseline. And what I am going to do is to lock in place the grid so that they cannot move. Make sure to notice that these grids are aligned correctly. And this was made a group to kind of simplify our work. Okay, let us go on and lock these grids in place so that they can stay in the same place. Okay, now the, the, the importance of making this layout is to try to track the necessary uh the necessary uh elements of the elevation such as the doors windows and the position of the edges now let let me use the the like maybe the medium layer to kind of track all these things maybe i can use uh the light because the light are the one which has the windows and doors let me place the doors okay i'm going to trace this these windows here okay that is the first point oh, I can even make this one extend now what I'm going to use to to simplify the work is to go over this one and over this one okay to try to track things out now I'm going to also track this door okay and it's placed on this particular point here and also like this one i'm going to track it okay what am i going to do is to track this way okay okay now another window this is another window on this point okay now that's it now let's go to the heavy layer and i'm going to to quickly track the edges like this one okay Maybe that's okay okay now i'm going to use the same technique to copy all around where i think these lines might be i think because this is a wall that extends okay that wall it does not really extend okay i will control z and maybe i i'll pick this column okay and the other column that is great that is an edge and we will also need this edge particularly on that particular point okay that is it let me extend this one to down so that uh, we can track it now we are going to track the roof i will use the hidden i'm going to track this roof you can see that we have the roof here okay this point is for the roof okay now i track this one this way okay now that's it and i'm going to use the same technique here to copy around where the roof edges are for instance here okay and you have it here but if you notice very well we have this this particular uh, roof that extends in the front okay that is the that is it now let me extend to this particular point no i do not even need to extend the roof okay 
now uh these levels this is uh, the level of this particular roof this one on the front i mean this one here on this side it's a little bit down now i'm going to kind of track it i'm going to activate the heavy layer here and go to polyline it is located where it is located at seven point uh, at 275 this is this line here so uh this particular line you see this one okay meets this line here now i'm going to track this one out and that one out also okay that's it that is the first one okay now for the other parts of the roof you can see this one okay is going to be on the other side here on this particular edge okay let me go to to this point and now track it out that's it okay align it no this one is a mistake okay i made a mistake here i think i haven't snapped truly well on this particular point okay let me go on this because that okay that's it here yeah. that's great and the next part is to go again on this particular roof go like this because this is the final uh edge of the roof this is what i'm going to actually do okay i'm tracking the roof if you might see very well okay yes now i'm tracking the roof this way here okay where they meet that's actually it that's the first part of the roof okay now all this roof extends to six meters now i'm going to cut out this one this way okay and that's it okay now we have the roof layout and we are actually good to go with this one now uh because i track this roof uh, out i'm going to kind of uh, finish the remove these lines but before i remove these lines i'm going to track also the roof uh, for the kitchen you remember this kitchen this one here is a double height and i am going to trace it out okay i know that the roof this roof is uh is starting from this point okay and is a little bit upper okay i know that this roof starts from this point here where this point meets that particular line okay okay this one and it extends from also how many centimeters 15 centimeters from this grid line okay that is on this particular corner okay now that's it and i will place this one okay like this all right that's great here now this particular line i'm going to change it into uh medium because this one is a little bit far from um, the the previous one okay i'm going to cover all this line here okay this way now that's it okay now we do no longer this we do no longer need these lines now i'm going to use this one to trim all of them okay okay trim here yeah, extend trim okay this line is now is now no longer needed this line is now no longer needed on the upper side okay and these lines are no longer needed okay from the upper side that's great okay now i'm going to to bring back this particular line snap to this particular point that is great now we have the 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 front roof here and this is the back roof which is a double height for the kitchen okay if you notice very well here there is a bit of extension on this side the extension of the roof okay which i'm going to kind of do after 
but I can even try to do it here now. Okay, this is this particular line. And this particular line uh, offsets at, uh, at uh, I mean, uh, 20, 28 centimeters. That's the, the, the roof fascia. Okay, now I'm going to close this particular line from that po particular point. Now I do no longer need this line. I delete it. Okay, it's finished now. Since we do not need uh, the, the doors, uh, these lines, I'm going to, to trim them so that they can clean up all the messes here. Okay. Let me go to trim. Okay. I do no longer need this one because I have already tracked them here on this side. Okay. This is to make it much more clearer. Okay. That is great. Now, okay. All right, now we are going to place the windows. Okay, I know that the windows are are um, ninety centimeters from the ground. Okay, now I'm going to offset this particular line through ninety centimeters from the ground. Let me go uh, offset again. Put ninety, enter, and then I'm offsetting this one and. I'm going to offset 1.120 here okay and that's actually it okay now i'm going to change these ones into uh light and we need these windows in the inside now i'm going to use them to kind of trim all the other windows here so i'm going to trim okay so that we can remain with the, the interior parts okay and here the door is not going to be trimmed because it is still there that is it okay and okay and okay okay now uh, we are going to trim all this this remaining parts here with the this particular lines here i'm going to go to trim again i'm trimming these ones okay i'm trimming these ones i'm trimming these ones okay the door does not trim okay i'm going to trim these ones these ones okay now that's great okay uh, remember the door is uh going to trim this way here is uh, going to touch the ground okay and this one is no longer needed okay let me delete it that's it okay now you can see that the entire shape has already been uh, revealed and now what we are going to do is to clean uh, everything now these lines these lines i do no longer need them okay all these lines i do no longer need them okay now that's great what am i going to do i'm going to trim all the lines using this particular line trim okay i know the grids are locked so they are not going to be trimmed that's great now okay this line has to also be trimmed okay i do not use that particular technique let me trim it from this point and now this this is no longer needed that's really great now okay we have all the doors and windows in place now what are we going to do we are going to make a little bit of uh, plinth now i'm going to offset this one into 20 centimeters up okay this way and what i'm going to do is to go again to this polyline and i'm going to offset 50 centimeters from this particular point okay let me do it again polyline from this point 50 centimeters let me now snap it to this point okay and i'm going to trim it trim 
okay now this one is no longer knee okay but uh, i think i made the mistake this one is only the the one which is not needed now these ones are not needed here that is great even this door because it is behind that particular plinth when you imagine it and here also i'm going to add like 50 centimeters of flow extension now that's it i'm going to trim back this one here and i'm going to change it into a medium layer a heavy layer here and i'm trimming this one because i do no longer need it okay 